Welcome back to module 10.4. In this lecture video, let's take a look at how to write the equation of the line given two points. So the previous video was about how to write the equation of the line by giving a slope and a point. So this time, rather than giving a slope, uh, these problems are given two points instead. So uh, in order to write the equation of the line, I got to have a slope and at least one point. So that means if I were given two points, I would need to use a slope formula to help me to find the, what the slope is first before I can begin to write uh, my, my equation of the line and then substitute the x and y value to find the b. All right, so let's find the slope first. Okay, that's the very first thing I got to do now is find the slope. So I'm going to just say the first point is x1, y1, second point x2, y2. So let's substitute, substitute them into the slope formula. All right, the slope formula says y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is negative 5. Got to subtract y1. So y1 is negative 3, so we got to subtract negative 3. All right. Um, x2 is 3 minus x1 is simply 4. So this second term, negative 1 times negative 3, become positive 3. So negative 5 plus 3 is going to be negative 2 over. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So negative 2 over negative 1 become positive 2. Always got to simplify for your fraction. So my slope is 2. So now let's begin to write my equation of the line. y equal to mx plus b. I got two points. All I need is one of them to substitute into for my x and the y. So it does not matter which one you use because both points are on the line. So I'm just going to pick the first one. That look looks slightly easier. So I'm going to substitute 4 for x, negative 3 for y. So then my equation of the line should look like, then once I substitute, my equation should look like negative 3 equals 2 times 4 plus b. All right, 2 times 4 is 8. So negative 3 equal to 8, positive b. To get b by itself, move the a over, that become negative. So b should be negative 3 minus 8, negative 11. All right, so once I find my b, I can put it back to what I already begin to write. So my equation of the line got to say y equals 2x minus 11. All right, now the reason why I'm not using point slope form is because most of the time I need to write my answer in slope intercept form so to me it just seems quicker to just use a slope intercept form to write the equation okay uh, even when it give me two points okay even when it give me two points to me this seems a little bit quicker all right let's check this one out same thing giving me two points so I got to find the slope so I'm going to say the first point is still x1, y1. Second point, x2, y2. So you see this is 0, negative 4. So you should know, if you're good with this, if you understand what the intercepts are, that's actually the y-intercept already. All right, but I'm, let's pretend we don't know that. Let's just kind of work it out. So m equals, and if you're good, you can just look at this and know what the slope is too. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is negative 4 minus y1 is negative 3. So subtract a negative 3 over. x2 is 0 minus x1 is negative 3. So 0 got to subtract negative 3. So that become positive 3 in the bottom. The top negative 4 plus 3, right? This is really a positive 3. That should be negative 1. So my slope m is negative 1 third. So let's begin to write our slope intercept form. y equals m x plus b. I'm going to use the first point, okay? 
I'm going to use the first point instead of the second one. Negative 3, negative 3. All right, so let's substitute negative 3 for x, negative 3 for y. So remember now, I already said this is already y-intercept, so let's check it out. See if my b come out to be the same as the negative 4 here, the y value of the y-intercept. So this is going to be negative 3 equal to negative 1 third times negative 3 plus b. All right, negative 1 third times negative 3. Negative 3 means negative 3 over 1. So top 3, bottom 3 cancels out. Negative times negative become positive 1, right? Because everything canceled out, so that become positive 1. Negative times negative is positive plus b equal to negative 3. So what happened when I move my positive 1 over? That become minus, so my b is equal to negative 3 minus 1. So b is equal to negative 4. There you go. So y equals, my answer, y equals negative 1 third x minus 4. So this b is the y value of the y-intercept. All right, so that's my answer right there. All right, so just quickly showing you how to write out the equation of the line when they're giving me two points. So, when they give me two points, <coughs> got to find the slope first, then we can begin to write out our um, equation of the line, where then I got to substitute for my x and y, so I can solve for b. Alright, that will conclude this lecture video. Thank you for watching.